The animal kingdom is fascinating. It's intriguing to know how many things we have in common with our closest animal relatives, the chimpanzees. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting chimpanzee discoveries. Killing comes naturally to chimps. It seems not only do chimps share characteristics with humans, but the darker sides of life as well. A recent study suggests attacking and harming is in their nature. Humans, and as it turns out, chimpanzees, take the lives of each other. The reasoning is unknown, though there are several theories. It's thought that perhaps the destruction of their habitats and loss of food infuriates the chimps and makes them act out. But other scientists argue that to destroy one another differs per chimp community. Therefore, it depends on the individual chimp cultures and not human interference. The data for this study is spread over 426 years of research. 152 chimps' lives were taken by other chimps, recorded in 18 communities with 58 chimps witnessed by live researchers. Bonobos were likewise studied and found to be far less aggressive. Chimpanzee communities are composed of colonies where the males form cliques that patrol the colony's territory to protect their community from outsiders. If a chimp from another community is found in the territory, the patrolling males often attack and destroy the lone chimp. These fatal attacks are the same regardless of how close or how far the colonies are from human sites, meaning we are not influencing their behavior. And this is instead a natural response to intruders of rival colonies. It's believed competition between males is the primary reasoning behind chimpanzees taking out each other as fewer males mean the surviving ones have better food and more territory. By patrolling in groups, the male chimpanzees can team up against rival male chimps from outside communities, increasing their own chances in a fight. Dr. Suzanne Schultz from the University of Manchester states, It's a natural behavior. It's not something that we've induced by disturbance or intervention. There's a real effort to look across a really wide range of populations, and the results are very compelling and very thorough. This data shows that humans are not to blame for the violent ways of chimpanzees as previously thought. According to Arizonan professor Dr. Silk, humans are not destined to be warlike because chimpanzees sometimes destroy their neighbors, and, of course, we are humans and not chimpanzees. We have the ability to shape and alter our behavior in ways that they can't. Despite being closest to humans evolutionarily, chimpanzee behavior does not mirror ours completely, though this does suggest that violence over resources and territory is a natural part of hunter-gatherer societies. Huge Chimpanzee Population Thriving in Remote Congo Forest The Congo Forest is known as one of the most treacherous places on Earth. Despite the dangers lurking in this colossal forest, the local chimpanzee populace is seemingly flourishing with life. The Congo forests border the Central African Republic. Legends of old claimed the existence of colossal apes that howled at the full moon and devoured lions and predators, but these were believed to be merely myths. After a team of researchers wandered through the forest's unlisted lands, they discovered what is thought to be a chimp megaculture, possibly the last of its kind, with a huge population of chimps. German primatologist Cleve Hicks states, This is one of the few places left on Earth with a huge continuous population of chimps. We estimate many thousands of individuals, perhaps tens of thousands. This would make the chimp populace the largest in Africa. Because the land was uncharted, we have insight into how chimps and apes act in completely natural environments removed from any prior human interruption. The chimps in the Biliuli forest are larger than most other chimps, meaning the legends have seeds of truth in them. And they have, in fact, been spotted devouring leopards. In the colonies of the forest, male chimps patrol the area while mothers teach their young to utilize tools and eat insects, and there is a definite order and way of living for these chimpanzees. The cameras the researchers placed around the forest showed that aside from the chimps, there are olive baboons, hyenas and forest elephants all residing in the area, and so much more wildlife. According to Hicks, we saw incredible amounts of wildlife on our camera traps, 
but we did not catch a single film of a human. It remains one of the last untouched wildernesses in Africa. The Billy chimpanzees were first found in 2008, but the research did not occur until recently with the published study in the Journal of Biological Conservation. As it stands, in Africa, humans alone have destroyed chimpanzee habitats so badly that in just the past century, their population has gone from millions to several hundred thousand, which emphasizes the importance of this discovery. However, researcher John Hart claims the area is at great risk of being opened up and explains that the Lord's Resistance Army are trying to move through the part of the forest and brigands from the area are trying to create conflict bases in the Congo forest that will endanger the animals. Scientists and researchers worry about hunters seeking to invade this previous unfounded section of the Biliuli to hunt the chimps and elephants to trade in the Congo Basin. Around 440 chimps are eradicated annually for trade. Hart says, with the availability of bushmeat declining elsewhere, commercial bushmeat hunters are going further and further into the forest. DRC law protects chimpanzees due to their endangered status. However, the law is only applicable if hunters get caught. Officials can be bribed, and according to Hicks, that is often the case, since the local militia benefit at times from these huntings. Hicks believes the military is even giving weapons to the poachers. The chimp megaculture is helpless to poachers should they decide to invade the area and hunt the animals with no proper or solid protection. Elephants, especially, have already been severe victims of poaching and they, along with chimps, cannot stand to suffer an even larger population loss. Hart desires for there to be a unit of wildlife guards who circle the forest and protect the animals inside in order to stop the hunters. According to Hart, it is a very significant opportunity to preserve a whole ecosystem of chimpanzees. Elsewhere on this continent, this opportunity just does not exist. first known wild chimpanzee with albinism was killed by other chimps. Investigators of chimpanzees in Africa have found an extremely rare case of albinism in a wild colony of chimpanzees in Uganda. This discovery is phenomenal, apart from the tragic fact that the young albino male chimp was brutally perished by its own colony only several weeks after its birth. According to researchers, this shows us insight into how chimpanzees in the world behave in unusual natural circumstances. The Sonso chimpanzee colony resides in the Badongo Forest Reserve in Uganda. The albino newborn was found on July 15, 2018, when it was with its mother. From the first sighting of the tiny chimp, the researchers observed an adult male being violent towards it. Two days later, they heard chimp screams from the forest. These screams came from the chimp Alpha as he and a group of other grown chimps attacked and took the life of the infant and other surrounding chimpanzees. Afterwards, the chimpanzee attackers left the corpse behind, thus allowing researchers to eventually take it and run it through post-mortem analysis. The chimp had snow-white fur and lacked any pigment in its eyes or skin, and was estimated to be three weeks of age. The research was led by Mayo LaRue, of the University of Zurich, who wrote, the initial reaction of community members towards the infant appeared to be different from a typical situation in which chimpanzees encounter females with a newborn for the first time. Even though some individuals responded calmly to the infant, most adult individuals seemed to react with fear upon encountering the newborn by keeping distance and producing alarm hoos and barks. Scientists recognized the chimps' calls as akin to the ones they elicit upon seeing something dangerous such as snakes or potentially dangerous humans. That is to say, they saw the albino chimp as unknown and a risk to their colony. Apes commit infanticide. This is a dark fact of the animal kingdom and not at all uncommon. Nevertheless, there is evidence to imply that in this case, the infant was attacked due to its ghostly complexion. Researchers believe that the community did not see the young chimp as one of them, or a typical chimpanzee, due to its albinism, since the majority of them reacted to it with panic and alertness. The vigilant and even fearful behavior, including alarm calling by individuals upon the initial exposure to the infant, seems to support this idea, state the researchers. Despite the abandonment of the body, 
chimpanzees of all ages did return to examine the deceased infant after its demise, something that is not normal behavior for chimps after committing infanticide. This solidifies the theory they saw the albino chimp as something else and were inspecting it to investigate. Besides this chimp, only one other case of an albino chimp was ever noted. The other albino chimp, however, was captured and raised in captivity instead of in the wild. Thus, researchers were not sure how wild chimpanzees would have reacted to it. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.